Let's customize one of the new Express Docs postcards available in Club Zebra. Log into the account. You'll see that we have three options. What we're looking at today is our Club Zebra content. And we have two postcards currently, Barriers to Selling and Barriers to Buying. Pick the card that you want and then we can see all these great settings. We can select multiple different coatings. I like the free gloss coating, it always looks great. You can select sides for some of them, but not for this one, obviously. We're not gonna do a PDF download because we've already got everything here ready to go. And we're gonna hit customize. So customizing is really easy. Uh, we can start out with the headshot. Obviously this is not the real headshot that we want. This is an April Fool's headshot. So we're just gonna browse grab a portrait and upload that. So it may not upload right away, so you wanna choose another image, grab this guy, and now we have the headshot we want. For logos, we have three positions for logos, as you can see on the proof. We've got two down here at the bottom and one above the return address. So you can select whichever logos you want uh, some of these images say low quality, however, they are not actually low quality. Uh, these are very, very large PNGs, but because their kilobyte size is small-ish, uh, we do get this warning. If you know the size of your images, you can use them anyway and everything should be fine. Uh, make sure that you examine the size of your images when you upload them, um, just to be on the safe side. Then we have all of this agent information. You can always add this information to your Lona's Group Express Stocks profile so that it is always there when you upload. The disclaimer text is a little bit interesting. You have 230 characters. I do recommend that you talk to your managing broker or whoever is in charge of marketing uh, to get these legal disclaimers. Uh, some legal disclaimers that are quite common include things like, in the event your home is listed with another agent, this is not a solicitation of that business. All right, so now that we've got all of our text in here, we've got all of our logos in here, we can refresh the proof. So let's say that now that we've refreshed our proof, we don't like how the Matheson is chunky and square there. So we're gonna choose another image. We're gonna put the name treatment on top uh, you can remove the selected image, and this will actually leave a blank space. So it'll, it won't have anything there, but it'll look just fine. Um, and then for this, we'll choose our big one. And then we can refresh the proof again. So if we like how this looks, we can keep going, going down here and generate the final proof. If we like how the final proof looks, we can go down here to Terms and Acknowledgement. This term right here may look a little bit odd. It's talking about text size, and really what it's talking about is the disclaimer text that we put in there. It is supposed to be small, so you don't have to worry about it being too small. Now we can come to our list selection. So if you already have a list uploaded, you can always add that, or you can add a new list. All you need is the full name, the address, city, state, and zip. You can see how this is all gonna look. We hit next. If you add or resident, occupant, or homeowner, this will improve the deliverability. Sometimes the USPS won't deliver mail if the name on the postcard is not the name of the person who lives there. So you can get around that by adding these. It's up to you which you decide. Both strategies work well. Now Express Docs is comparing the list to a USPS database of deliverable addresses. As you can see, we have a warning here. Sometimes addresses will fail and there won't be a really good reason why. For example, this one, the street number is not valid. However, the street number may be valid, but according to the database that Express Docs is comparing it to, it cannot find this address. In the case of this address, it could obviously be that there's a northeast place northeast 
and we don't actually have a street name. So that would definitely be something that you could go and check. Express Docs also updates things and lets you know when something has changed. For example, this one, the city was automatically updated. If you like the way that looks, hit close. Everything's checked out. Once again, you can address these if you want to download the PDF, get a high gloss coating, things like that, and proceed to checkout. Um, promo codes. If you have any promo codes, they will work here. Uh, you can put your credit card on file here. And that's it. It's that easy to customize Club Zebra content for yourself.